In this video, we will drive the conservation of mass equation, which is also called as continuity equation. In our previous video, we have derived the Reynolds transport theorem. The link is provided in the description. This is the general form of Reynolds transport theorem, which relates the change in the property of a system to the change in property of a control volume so b represents a extensive property of a system whereas small b is the property of a system per unit mass for continuity equation we will replace this b with m and small b is equal to 1 because m divided by m is equal to 1. So we will get the continuity equation in this form. So this is an example of a bathtub in which mass of water is entering in the tub is equal to 50 kg and at the outlet it is 30 kg. So 20 kg is being accumulated in the tub. The amount of water which is being accumulating in the tub is representing is represented by this term which is the change of mass in the control volume with respect to time. Rho delta V is the mass which is changing inside the control volume and the net uh, mass flow rate is uh, the net mass flow rate crossing the control surface at the inlet and outlet is represented by the this surface integral term where rho v delta a is the mass flow rate v dot n is the velocity in the n direction n is normal to the surface so, so surface you can see here at the inlet the normal to the surface is right in the downward direction so we have this continuity equation in this form and we have uh, discussed this example of Newton spray bottle as we discussed earlier that system mass do not change for a closed system no mass can cross the boundaries that means this term will be equal to zero if the system mass remains constant so if we put in this uh, value equal to zero then the continuity equation will be in this form this uh, in continuity equation is in the integral form in which we have uh, a volume integral and a surface integral so we uh, can simplify this integral form of equation by writing in the form of mass flow rate as rho delta v is the mass and uh, we have also the definition of mass flow rate that is rho v delta a where v dot n is the velocity this velocity in the n direction so uh, in the n direction velocity is v n so but we will use this definition of mass flow rate and substitute it into this surface integral to get the continuity equation in the simpler form to solve a uh, solve simple fluid problems here the mass m is replaced by this rho delta v we know that m is equal to rho v and this 
this term rho v delta is replaced by m dot and the summation sign is for multiple multiple inlets and multiple outlets.